Are you keeping track of how much money you're spending on workday lunches? It's a lot of money. Plus the food you're eating, probably not super nutritious. So that's a lose-lose. How are we gonna solve it? For just $20 and under an hour of time on Sunday, you're gonna have lunches from Monday through Friday. You're gonna save double the money, you're gonna have more nutritious stuff, and you're gonna have all different flavors throughout the week because we're gonna add delicious sauces. But the best part is that you're gonna be eating nutritious food, and that's good for your brain muscle, which might mean that you'll get a raise, which might mean that you'll make even more money while spending half as much on the lunches because you made them yourself. Man, that'd be great if we could get all that stuff happening. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. Welcome to Struggle Meals. So it's Sunday, and technically the week starts on a Sunday. It's the perfect day to prep your lunches for work from Monday through Friday. Remember, lunch is fuel for your body. If you put in the time to prep on Sunday, you're gonna be eating cheaper and healthier, and that means your performance is gonna increase. First, I'm gonna prep my proteins. I got five days of protein here. Three chicken thighs, two salmons. Perfect time to season them all a little bit differently. You know, it doesn't have to be the same. Sameness is boring. Here we go, we've got some cumin, and we've got some chili powder. Hello, it's nice to meet you. I am going to feed him. Yes, you are, and save Frankie lots of money also. And here we have onion powder, boom, boom, boom. Garlic powder, salt and pepper, and salmon's just gonna get salt and pepper also. Oil of vegetables on the chicken. So this is gonna go in the oven about 375 degrees for about 25 minutes. Gonna cook some jasmine rice. It's always nice to have a grain. It's a simple, clean, filling flavor. And best of all, it absorbs every flavor that we put into our meal prep. That means sauces, too. All right, I like the two to one method. So that means one cup and a half, double the water. So three cups water. One, two, three. We've got the chicken and fish in the oven. We've got our rice on the stove. I'm like four minutes into my Sunday meal prep and everything that needs heat is already being heated. And the time that that stuff takes to cook is all I need to prep the rest of my raw vegetables. Let's start with some cabbage. Going into a container. Now I can use this in any and all of my meals, but it's prepped, so that means on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever day, all I have to do is take the amount I want and put it in that day's container. All right, how about a bell pepper? So come in, cut some strips. Chef's bite. And this guy can probably share a container with something else. So I'm just gonna shred this whole carrot. Here we go. My logic here was to have the carrot and the pepper together, because I didn't want something that would like wilt from the moisture. So just think, robust ingredients together. So our rice is just about boiling. I'm gonna turn it down, put a top on, and simmer it for 20 minutes. That's it, man. We got our cabbage, we've got our peppers and carrots. These are not meals, these are just prepped stuff that I can choose from and assemble a meal in two minutes before I head out to the office. So when you are prepping your ingredients, keep in mind, really wet things probably shouldn't be with really dry things. You're gonna lose the texture. That's why like the tomato is gonna be in its own container. So here we've got some romaine lettuce. So my logic here is to keep these leaves as whole as possible. I might have to cut them in half. If I start chopping like a maniac, I'm like breaking up cell walls and stuff's gonna dry out and die. I'm just gonna give a single half here. Here we go. This doesn't necessarily have to be your final shape. I just wanna keep vitality here. So if you want something that's chopped up, chop it up on your meal prep day. There's just a single piece of paper towel in the bottom of this bag here. What that's gonna do is make sure that this doesn't get too moist and soggy in here. It's gonna regulate the hydration level of the bag. We've got some white cheddar here. I'm gonna cube up about a quarter cup or so. Let's call that a quarter cup, okay? There's some cubed cheese. And now some shredded cheese for a different dish. All right, so I got my cheese. Guess what? Our proteins are ready. The time has come. Okay. Very nice. What I see here is a Lego set with no instructions. There's a lot of possibilities. Ooh, this smells yummy. Great. And we've got our salmon. 
Okay. Finally, our rice. This is why I always keep a spoon in my pocket. Just in case I need to scoop some rice from one container into another container. So with just a little bit of time on Sunday, I have prepped all of my ingredients for the week ahead. And each morning before I go to work, I'll take some of the ingredients and assemble my lunch for that day. And we'll also make some sauces so that the flavors don't get boring by Friday. Into the fridge. salmon bowl. Because I prepped everything on Sunday, assembly for Monday's lunch comes together really, really quickly. But to ensure we don't have the same flavors all the way through Friday, I'm gonna whip up a quick sauce. Check this out. Some ginger. Doing about two tablespoons of creamy peanut butter. About a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar to cut through the thickness and the richness. About a tablespoon of oil. Coming in with just a splash of sesame oil. Boom, 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 boom. To the packet drawer. Honey! You could do a half packet if you want, but I figured since I opened the packet, go for the whole thing. And some packet drawer red pepper flakes. So the idea with this sauce is that we've got fattiness, we've got saltiness, we've got spiciness, we have acidity happening, and sweetness. It's really, really well balanced, and it's gonna make Monday's dish taste completely different from the next time we have salmon. So coming in and stirring, and if it's too thick, you can just add water to taste. Do a little taste. Ah, oh, that's delicious. First of all, I love peanut butter in any setting, but it's got some acidity and more sweetness to it and that makes it 100% better than just peanut butter. This sauce is going to make this dish go from zero to hero. Let's put it in a little container. Pro tip with your sauce for lunch is to keep it separate from the ingredients. That way you're not gonna have anything soggy when you go to eat it. So if you were paying attention to this sauce and you see the peanut butter and the acidity, you might realize that I'm leaning towards Southeast Asia and you're right, I'm going for like a Thai inspired salmon bowl. That's what I'm having for lunch on Monday. Trying to think again about how things are gonna sit in the container in the best manner possible. I'm gonna put the rice at the bottom of my container. That way, all the flavors that come down throughout the day will be caught by the rice, and the rice is getting flavored. Come in with some shredded carrot, some peppers, so I can get some crunch and hydration throughout my day. Coming in with some cabbage. Got a piece of salmon. Come in here. Got a lot of fresh flavors. We've got our sauce for later. How can we make this even better? Finish it with some fresh herbs. Maybe some chive and some cilantro. So this cilantro I'm just gonna put in, it's the same concept as we had with the lettuce. Wanna keep them on the stock, wanna keep those uh, vibrant. The chives, on the other hand, not so great whole like this. So I'm gonna cut them up. I know they're chives. I really wanna drive the point home that because I did all my meal prep on Sunday, assembly for Monday's lunch took five minutes. The most time consuming thing was making the sauce and it's no big deal. It's some peanut butter with a couple liquids. You can do it in under three minutes. I guarantee it. So we are assembled. We've got a healthy and hearty lunch that is at least twice as cheap as the stuff you'd buy if you didn't do this and it's definitely healthier and that's good for your brain muscle. So I'm packing this up. I'm heading out the door. I got a scooter to ride. <laughs>